You recently attended an economic development conference in Olympia. Talk about that and why it's important for your district. The Association of Washington Business put on an economic forum for rural Amer or Washington. So what that is, is we are working hard to make sure that rural Washington's economic future is looked at. We're finding innovations to bringing businesses in to the rural Washington. And we really need to look at what's important in our district and how do we improve the economics of our community. What's the next step for your efforts on rural economic development? Right now, we need to hear from our constituents. Some of the best legislation is from people in our district who call in and say that I have an idea, will this work? So call my office, call me, tell me your ideas. We need to look for innovation ideas and focus on getting businesses into Washington, getting to those jobs to our rural districts. You also had a public hearing in the Environment Committee on Senator Shelley Short's Senate Bill 5790 dealing with economic development and the Growth Management Act. What does her bill do and how did that go? Her bill allows local governments to opt out of GMA restrictions when they are having an economic downturn or their population is in a downturn. This is important because when you're having that economic downturn to restrict more of your businesses, that's, that's a problem. And it's the number one issue when it comes to economic vitality is restrictions. They, they hinder economics, they hinder businesses, and so we need to remove those restrictions and give our local governments more control where they can put businesses, what businesses can come in, and not let the state control those issues. The Department of Commerce came in and testified against the bill. That's a little upsetting considering the question I asked is what is the number one reason to get people out of poverty and that is economic prosperity that is the right to have a job the ability and the location to have that job and the department of commerce restrict the ability of local governments to put businesses into those districts to put businesses into rural america they're actually increasing poverty they're causing poverty